Hey, how are you? It's me, Caitlin Casmini from Mommy Out Italy, and today I'll be performing three pieces for you. The first will be my classical monologue from Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, and I'll be doing the character Viola. So I hope you enjoy it. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid my outsides have not charmed her. She made good view of me. Indeed so much that me think her eyes had lost her tongue. And she did speak and start distractedly. Uh, she loves me, sure. The cutting of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord ring, why he sent her none. I am the man, if it be so as tis. Poor lady, she were better love a dream. Skies, I see thou art a wickedness. Where the pregnant enemy does much, how easy it is for the proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms. Alas, a frailty is the cause, not we, for such as we are made of, such we be. How will this fade? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, want as much on him. And she, mistaken, seems to dote on me. How many thriftless sighs shall poor Olivia breathe? Oh, time. You must untangle this, not I. It is too hard enough for me to untie. For my next bottle, I will be doing a bottle called Bite Wings for breakfast. given you. I mean it. I am completely over everything. Today at work, Susan, the other dental assistant, called in sick. It was like Destiny was smiling at me. What I mean is, I got to work with every single patient today. Do you know there is nothing more satisfying than yanking out other people's teeth? <laughs> I can picture each patient was you, and I was ripping and twisting and pulling teeth left and right. The more they bled, the happier I felt. Then I got to use the suction to suck up people's tongues, making them jump and twitch. It was great. I was in control. I mean, I know they couldn't actually feel anything. Thought that I could be causing unbearable, excruciating pain. <laughs> it was almost orgasmic. So, honey, I'm not mad at you anymore. Oh, and guess what? Dr. Green's having a schedule in for tomorrow. Isn't that great? <laughs> And for my final monologue, I will be doing a cutting from a play called Cinema Limbo. I'm the kind of girl who takes pity on poor, pathetic geeks who's never kissed a girl. Let's just say I like somebody who's trainable. It's sad, I know. But hey, I'll take the ego boost wherever I can get it. But after a while, these adorable, sweet, nerdy boyfriends just get so boring sometimes. I mean, I can only listen to their math equations and their computer games for so long. Of course, Stuart's different in lots of ways. 
he's terrible at math. And he's pretty clueless about technology. But he's a comic book sort of geek. And a hopeless romantic. He's preoccupied with holding my hand. Everywhere we go, he wants to hold my hand. Even when he's driving. And he has this favorite pastime. He keeps saying, I love you. And it was so sweet and wonderful the first time, I almost cried. And I'm not the kind of girl who cries often. But by the end of the day, he must have said, I love you 150 times. And then he started adding pet names. I love you, honey much. I love you, sweetheart. I love you, my little snoochie woochie woochie goo. I don't even know what that last one means. It's like he's speaking some weird romantic foreign language or something. Who would have thought that romance could be so boring? Well, oh, you thank you for listening, and I hope you guys pick me, and uh, I cannot wait to come to Oklahoma in a few months. So, uh, that's all. Thank you, Boomer Sooner.